Okay, welcome to my latest uh, build I'm doing. This is uh, basically a, a micro milling machine, or it's going to be used more for engraving. I got a friend that needs a, a small engraving setup, and it's sort of a specialized thing he's doing, uh, where the the part is very tall, but uh, <clears throat> it's very tall in the Z, but the uh, X and Y is a, a small setup, so. Uh, this is going to be basically a X and Y axis will be uh, about three inches and the Z is going to be anywhere from probably six to ten inches uh, just so he can do his engravings he needs to do and uh, so basically it's built from uh, a six inch C channel and it's got two welded plates on the bottom and that was machined first and then I put it on the uh, granite plate and scraped it flat I made sure it was as flat as I could get it or it took just so when I flipped it over and I milled the top here uh, so I made sure that it wasn't rocking on the on the uh, bed of my milling machine so you can see a close up here of the so it's basically these are 15 millimeter linear rails and the pillow blocks or screws are what they use in like 3D printers. They're just 8 millimeter uh, by two uh, Acme threads and uh, <clears throat> you can see I used uh, Fusion 360 with the uh, adaptive clearing which I don't know it worked, worked out pretty good. It's not the best finish but gets the job done and then this is the bottom plate here where the column uh, the column will get welded to this and this is just a pocket to locate the column so that basically this is the column here so this fits fits in there like that and then that'll get welded and then the Z carriage We'll get, and then this will get machined and then flipped over and then the bottom here will get flattened off but uh, this is pretty much maxing out my milling machine to size wise uh, so this is about the biggest thing I can, biggest mill I can make with the mill <laughs> and uh, so I did a this is the first plate I made for the bottom you can see there's like little nubs here that it missed and this was just a standard uh, pocketing infusion and then the second one here I did with the adaptive clearing and I don't know the times were times were a little bit different but this just sounded so much better when it was machining this one out and uh, so yeah these are the Two bottom plates here. So this one, this will get welded on like that. And then there will be four screws that bolt that down. And then this is this will be the uh, the Y carriage here. That'll sit on there like that. And then this will this is going to be the table, and that'll go in here. So that'll go like that, and uh, it's going to be powered by NEMA 17 steppers. I have some 23s if I need them, but I think these will be good enough. And uh, I have more details on my Instagram page if anybody's interested. I have a 3D uh, rendering and infusion on there and uh, some other pictures of it as I'm progressing along and uh, so uh, thanks for watching and have a good day